This weekend, my wife Mary and I are finishing up our tax returns, just like I'm sure many of you are. It's a time when a lot of us look at our family's finances and ask some pretty tough questions. Like, are we saving enough for our kids' college? Will we be able to retire at a normal age? And what might happen if the recession gets worse, like it has over the last two months, when over one million Americans lost their jobs? I know for a lot of folks, the answer to these questions are pretty grim these days. Nationwide, unemployment's at a 25-year high as companies lay off employees or go out of business altogether. It's at times like this when families and businesses feel a need to hold on to every dollar they can. But think about this. According to the Nonpartisan Tax Foundation, the average American has to work from January 1st until this Monday, April 13th, just to earn enough money to pay all their taxes for the year. That's just two days before the taxes are actually due on April 15th. And then consider this. If the Democrat majority in Washington gets its way, most families' tax burdens will be even higher. Now, this isn't a Republican versus Democrat debate. I thought President Obama's proposal to eliminate capital gains taxes for small businesses was a pretty good idea. And his pledge to lower taxes for middle-class Americans was something Republicans wholeheartedly supported. But the budget that Congress is considering doesn't provide that tax relief. And rather than eliminate capital gains taxes for small businesses immediately so they can create jobs right now, their budget keeps those taxes high until after President Obama's term in office. And most concerning, this budget creates mountains of new debt that will ultimately require higher taxes on all of us and our children. I think that's wrong. Families are hurting now, and small businesses can't create new jobs soon enough. Isn't it time we stopped working for the government and that government started working for us? Here's a novel idea for the federal government. Instead of collecting more taxes and then redistributing them through more federal programs, why don't you just let us keep more of our money in the first place? The federal government should keep a lid on taxes, control government spending, and borrow less 